Welcome back. Welcome back. You fell asleep before the ending of last week's bedtime story, so we'll continue off on where we left off. Do you remember what happened? I can't imagine that you do with how quickly you nodded off. Well, you've come to know the Avalonian Sky Special Operatives, the futuristic mercenary company. Well, I told you last week that they completed a mission for a measly 200,000 credits, right? They helped a coalition adjacent company, the Obsidian Corporation, uh, clean out their uh, demon-infested base. Upon returning, they found their old team Skylock missing and his room covered in what might have been his blood and body parts. They tried to check the video footage and use their tracking skills, but were unable to find any other clues as to what happened and came up empty-handed. Well, business and life continues on, so they did too. They went out looking for repairs and upgrades to their whole team. And upon returning, came across a pack of dog boys and their skull captains sniffing around town. The psychic hunting group sniffed out the psychic powers of Hida and tried to capture her. The group teamed up magnificently and disposed of them. But Michael's concern for Sarah was piqued. Sarah, the young girl which they've been watching over for the past two months, let out a psychic yelp that was cut short by some sort of psychic block or barrier. The group returned home to find their base broken into, their stolen, stolen coalition power armor retaken, and worst of all, the little girl Sarah was missing. Through clever use of hacking into satellites and video footage and questioning the secretary... The group found a coalition base just east of Chai Town, southeast of Chai Town. It was a 600 foot lone tower of glass that looked as if it were made out of gold by the way the sunset reflected off of it as it spirals up. The building was surrounded by three bunkers and a chain link fence. Identify yourselves and state your purpose. We're here for Sarah, replied Michael as he unleashed a barrage of missiles. So are you all comfortable? You've all got your <laughs> wiggles out. All righty then. Let's continue on. It was at this time that the base's defenses kicked in. The base's anti-mass missile lasers fired and began destroying the missiles one by one, but they weren't quick enough for all 12 of them. Uh, Michael, roll a d6. D6. Two. Two. Two of the missiles managed to get through. Uh, these missiles are 1D6. Let's see. They are ranged weapon attacks, right? Correct. <laughs> And these are two missiles that are coming at us, right? No, that you fired. Oh, yes. Two of the 12. Definitely. No. Okay. Two of the 12 that you fired. Lasers begin firing out of the, uh, out of, almost seemingly out of the ground from surrounding the bunkers in the main building, destroying the missiles that you fired one by one. But two of them managed to make it through. And these two missiles do. Wasn't quite ready. I was still working on oh, this. I'm rules. gonna do them. Every, you know what? Drink. Every everybody drink. Everybody this is drink. First, this is the. This is a big goal. You at home drink with yeah. us, but do it responsibly. Make sure you're no home. driving. No hanging out with people. Go home. What are you doing? Get out of there. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Two d six times 10 and it's two missiles so roll 4d6 and multiply it by 10 and that's how many hit dice of damage you do six six three one 12 15 16 160 hit dice of damage as <laughs> these two bright flashes of light uh spark off at the base of the building was this really the right way to get in Shattering the glass maybe 20 stories up from the building, 
leaving a huge gaping hole in the side of the building. Its structure, its integrity seems heavily compromised, almost as if it would blow over quite easily. Everybody roll initiative and drink again. I'm down with Oh, that. shit. Initiative. All right, I got a 16. I got a 10. 10 plus 9 is 19. What? I got 10. <laughs> so, 10, 16, 19. And let me pull out dice. And they get a 17. So... It's Michael, the Coalition, Hida, and then Alara. All right. Okay. Um, you begin seeing the uh, one of the two of the bunkers begin opening up. These are about forty foot tall bunkers at or maybe a hundred feet long. And you begin seeing a couple of uh, platforms in the cement opening up as well. Oh, let's, uh, let's, let's do a, shoot some missiles at those platforms and disable them. So they freaking like fold in and they can't come up. Let's disable that shit. Okay. Hold on. Platforms times two, they are that many and that many, and the bunkers are that many and that many, and then the building you did 170 hit dice. Mm -hmm. Uh, that takes it down to that many, and then, all right, cool, <laughs> um, you've got 12 missiles left. Let's do four and four. On each one? On each one. Okay, um... These are your both of your both of your attacks because you're splitting them up on two different targets. It's both of your attacks. Go ahead and uh, make your two attack rolls. Uh, ten plus what? Ten plus. I just finished printing your character sheet out. Let me go to the printer and grab it. Um. Plus, you also have. Uh, automatic targeting systems that you're using, which gives you another plus two. Or no. Plus four. So... Total, it is plus 13 to... What did you roll? 10. So 23. 10, 23. Yeah, that, those, that's a hit on the first one. And the second one was a 16? Yep. 29. So those are both hits. So go ahead and roll down. Let's How many six sides? Uh, four missiles is 16d6. I'm doing that on my phone. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of disruptive. App my phone can at least do that many, like 10 at a time. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's put that whiskey back and pull out this whiskey. This <laughs> whiskey. It All right, 10 6 First one is 39. Okay, and that's the first 10. And eight more, right? Six more. Or six more. Twenty-eight. Thirty-nine and twenty-eight. Damn. Times 10 is 640 hit dice of damage. By the way, if all 12 missiles would have hit uh, the building 
I would have just used the average, and that would have been 4,200 hit dice of damage. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah, it is. Holy cow. As the first platform is completely destroyed, and you see the missiles inside of this platform that were raising up, getting ready to aim towards you, completely uh, begin exploding themselves. Inferno explosion! <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then uh, go, ahead and roll, <laughs> go ahead and roll uh, damage for the second one, 10 and 6. First 10 is 40. 40 13. And then 13 for the next six six sided yeah, dice? Three, two, two, three, two, one, two. Oh, 53 times 10 is 530. That's barely enough. As the second one does the same thing, completely disabling those uh, missile systems. You begin seeing uh, anything <coughs> anything else for bonus action or movement. You are just outside of the chain link fence. Um, I'm going to um, prepare for a dodge attack. A uh, wh uh, what? A what? See, so just prepare for like someone attacking me where I can like move. So the, that's actually an action called dodge. Yeah, yeah. There's there's no attack that you can do with it. Uh, that's basically your armor class is you doing the whole dodge thing. All right, now I'll just stand by. I, I can't think of anything right now. You moving closer or anything, or We're any direction? Right here, so we can give you. I'm gonna go towards the hole in the building. And drop the and okay, you go dee, 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 yeah, running me. your 60 miles an hour sprinting towards the building. Uh, and uh, you are on the next round, you'll be right up against the building. You close, you close about two thirds of the distance, so you're more than halfway there. Uh, next up, it is the Coalition's turn. Let me send you all of course this. It is. That damn Coalition. <laughs> this photo of, of the, down. this photo of the building oh, put it that in you guys are. Let's see if I can do that. Let's that see. Make <laughs> vibrate. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. Whoa. People aren't listening because we're professional. They're just listening because we're entertaining. So we're good. We're funny drunks. <laughs> oh, okay. That is an interesting building. All right. Uh, let's see. The two doorways to the bunkers finish opening up. Uh, oh. You see... Stepping out of it, two different giant robots. One of them is the Coalition Spider Skull Walker, uh, a six-legged. Let me turn to the page. A six-legged, thirty-six foot tall or so skull, with two huge rail guns on either side. A couple of smaller laser turrets moving straight towards you. And also coming out of the other one is a slightly taller, 48-foot tall robot coming out that, uh, that has uh, missile launchers on its shoulders and is carrying a large uh, rifle of some sort. You weren't joking with us, Jose. Yeah. Uh, there is, and the skull, the skull walker. Yeah, this, this is, where the hell is it? Where the hell is How it? many legs does it have? Six. Six. The first one, the first, the spider skull walker has six legs. The yeah. second one is really humanoid looking. So it's not a spider. Sure. 
Insect walker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it fires two blasts with its huge railguns on either side at your suit. Both of them hitting for firing 80 round bursts out of each of them. 80 round bursts? Holy shit. Yeah, the no first joke. one for 40 hit dice. The second one for 60 hit dice of damage. Uh, the first one hitting in the main body. The second one hitting in the main body. So that's a total of 100 hit dice that you've taken out of your... I think it's... Let's see. I need to... This is what I was trying to write down before. Shit happened. Main body is up the rules. 350 hit dice. So you're down to 250 in the main body. Okay. The second robot raises his uh, walk, comes running, charging straight towards you. He's not holding a rifle. I forgot his uh, shoulder has a his right shoulder has a huge cannon attached to it and it continues charging at you getting ready to punch you but before it does it fires its c50r enforcer railgun hitting an armor class of 16 which does hit with an 80 round burst out of its railgun for another 20 hit dice of damage to your leg holy fuck how many hit uh, dice damage can your shit take? Uh, not enough. Uh, it doesn't have the leg. Uh, it's all compiled together. So out of you are down to 180 hit dice, almost halfway down. Uh, the skull walker is moving slowly, kind of walking sideways, trying to get a better angle for its guns, but the uh, humanoid looking one, the uh, coalition enforcer robot is charging straight at you with its getting ready to pummel you with its fists. That ends their turn. Uh, the two missile launchers there were destroyed. The bunkers, the building doesn't have a turn. So now it is Hida. Hida, you just finished using uh, Machine Ghost as you jack in, hitting the last few keys and putting on your VR set, and you see a rather pixelated, almost 1980s video game uh, grid directly below you as you drop to the drop to the ground, landing three-point su superhero, stand up, extend your arms. And these laser light beams kind of form around your arm, almost as the skeleton of the mech that you're in. You see that the main body is kind of flickering a little bit from the damage you've taken, kind of flickering a little yellow. But you also see the skeletal forms of in the same beams of light of the building, the bunkers, and the uh, two robots uh, on this virtual map. You have basically entered into this robot. Okay. Uh, damage report. Damage report. 180 hit dice remain. Uh, damage report. Uh, at 58% of of capacity. At this rate. Already. At this rate, 12 uh, estimated depletion in 12 seconds. Depletion, energy depletion? No, armor. Armor, armor depletion. Armor depletion, got it. Uh, okay, so, uh, can I, uh, like, remodulate the, the uh, communications array in order to provide us with some kind of energy shield? Hmm, this is gonna be uh, interesting. Uh, Did you just you Star Trek that? You can it, yeah. basically <laughs> pretty much. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Star Trek lately. <laughs> you can you can definitely try. 
Uh, the system you're in wasn't quite designed for it, so the DC is going to be pretty high. Oh, shit. That's not what I like to hear, Jose. <laughs> um, let me uh, give you a rundown of his, of his uh, suit real quick. Give everybody a rundown of the... Where'd it go? The... Free Quebec, QR1, uh, no, QR3 Guardian. I'm sorry. I was wrong about the hit dice. I was looking at the wrong one. So you've lost 170 out of 560, taking you to 390 hit dice. You are at 68%. This uh, this armor holds two pilots and a gunner. Uh, so you can work the guns from where you're in. Its effective strength is a 50. You know, 1 to 20 for a human. This yeah. robot is a 50. So it moves at 100 miles an hour, 20 feet leaping. Bonuses. It has physical combat, a particle beam cannon... A forearm laser turret, vibroblades on its fists, and so what you're saying is I can control the robot on my turn, and Michael can control the robot on his turn, effectively giving the robot two turns. Basically, uh, movement is controlled by the pilot only, but weapons would be you as okay. well. Okay, cool. So I am going to... What's the absolute strongest thing this mech can shoot? The gun. Uh, the, the, main, the main gun is a particle beam cannon. Uh, equal to the number of attacks per melee round. So if you've got range. one attack... Okay, so if you've got two attacks, you can make two attack rolls with it. Okay, uh, I'm going to fire at the one that's pretty close to us. Uh, the one that's charging at you? The humanoid-looking one? Yeah. Is there okay. a pilot in there? Yeah, you're assuming so. Uh, or is if it there like was, it'd be in... in... Eh. What difference does it make? You want to take your uh, action? You want to take your action to uh, no, hack I'll into it deal, and find out? I'll just deal with the consequences <laughs> of killing someone on my own. It'll take a lot more okay. coffee. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm firing the full burst at the one flying towards us because he's making himself an obvious target. Okay. Do it. Uh, what do I roll? Uh, an attack roll With, uh, uh, for firearms. Yep. Uh, dexterity, proficiency. Plus four for having the targeting systems of the robot. So everything I get plus four. Correct. So that brings me up to a 13. Sounds about right. All right, let's roll this bitch. Damn, everybody's got a 20 dexterity. Shit. <laughs> 20. Nice. 20 total or crit? Yeah, 20 total, not a crit. It's a dirty 20. Oh, okay. Okay, 20, that, that hits. Okay. Uh, that's your first attack. Roll your second attack. Okay. Uh, give me one second. <laughs> 21. That is a hit as well. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Uh, roll, roll 2d6. 2d6? Yep. No multiplication or anything? Each shot is 1d6 times 10 plus 10. Okay, so 2d6. I rolled 6 total. 6 total, that's 60 plus 20 is 80 hit dice of damage you do to it. Damn. Uh, you... Are you just attacking for the main body? No, what I... I want to do is... Uh, what He's using his fist, but he also has another weapon, right? On his right shoulder. He also has uh, missile launchers on his left and right shoulder. Okay, I'm going to try and target the missile array so that uh, okay. it explodes on him. 
that also hits as well. So you do a total of 80 hit dice of damage to his left one or right one? Left. Left shoulder missile launchers. The two blasts. uh, One of them destroys a couple of the missiles in it, not causing them to explode. The second blast uh, destroys one more missile in there, not causing it to explode. There are still two missiles left in his left shoulder uh, that are so I got my that appear attacks. functional. I can't move. Yep. Um, and I'm already bonus action. Psionics. I'm looking for my bonus action stuff. Nope, I'm good. Okay, uh, Alara, how are you gonna break it? Well, it looks like I'm a gunner. Is that correct? Uh, that was what we had said. I see. I'm kind of curious how that would work because there's a virtual gunner, a pilot. I'm wondering if that would leave room for you to be a gunner as well. Yeah. What Shit. If, yeah. What if uh, we, while we, if you want the, to. Uh, the main gun has already been fired, but you can fire any of the other guns or missiles or whatever. That's exactly what I okay. was thinking. I was ready. We're like, so, do I have a so melee attack on the on the robot, like a sword? You have spikes, glowing vibroblade spikes coming out of your wrist, or like Wolverine spikes. Crazy drink, boys. I've been drinking when I'm not supposed to, but like, how dare you? Hours. We only got two hours of this shit. <laughs> making us drink. <laughs> Start rolling crits, everybody. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where are those crits at? Where are those fails? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, when you say eight. other guns or m- missiles, what do I have available? There are four missiles left remaining that have not been fired. There is a wrist turret. And well, he still I has think... the uh, Gatling gun. Let me see. Uh, the forearm Do laser the turret, gun. retractable vibro blades. Uh, the Gatling gun can. Let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. Speed running 100 miles per hour. It has a particle beam cannon, a forearm laser turret. Missile launchers and uh, vibro blades. Oh, folding mini missile launchers. There are leg. Okay, the sh- shoulders have full size missiles. The legs have mini missiles. Oh, that was uh, nice to know when it was my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm still no, it's okay. I'm just trying to <laughs> piece together this game. It's all right, man. Oh, well, this is yeah. dead air, so we have to drink. <laughs> <laughs> You're just looking for any excuse, aren't you? <laughs> Dude, we got two hours, and I intend to get fucked up. Happy birthday! Yeah, okay, it's, so... It's, uh... it's basically Aaron's birthday, so we got to get really <laughs> drunk. <laughs> So, uh, right. yeah, uh, so there I can, are uh, only two missiles in each leg, and they're little mini-missiles, where all this really stuff is doing... Them. Uh, the main size mini-missile, or the main size missiles are 1D something times 10. These little missiles are just 1D something. Oh. But they do hit dice, right? Yes, one D something hit dice. Got they're it. they're basically oh. anti personnel. Fragmentation. Anti personnel is what they're usually used for. But H-E missiles, high explosive. Yeah. Oh, I'm still gonna have to put some like smoke screen in those like leg what missiles. Are... They sell them. What I'm gonna have to okay. change it. Just the leg up missiles at this at this thing that's running towards us. Yeah, you can launch missiles at it. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I think that's a prob- a good plan. The leg missile. 
Okay, uh, you fire both of them? One regular and one mini. Okay, that's two of your actions, since it's two different weapons. Uh, are you two attacking attack. its... Oh, are you doing uh, your regular... Uh, I'm sorry. Roll an attack for the regular missile. Okay. Use the targeting system, plus four. It's a plus four? Okay, so I rolled 15. 15 plus your proficiency, plus dexterity, plus the targeting system. It should be like a plus 13, which is a hit. That's more like 24, yeah. Yeah. So, and then roll for the smaller missile. Nine. Plus 13 is a 21. 21. 22. The wife just locked me out in the garage. She locked you in, <laughs> in the garage? Yeah, she finished smoking and she went inside and... Sorry. <laughs> locked me out. <laughs> That's where you belong, Jose. In the garage. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, Another word? The <laughs> dog house. <laughs> okay. You and your uh, friends playing Dungeons and Dragons. That... Satanic panic devil devil game. Uh, okay. Mini missile. Uh, medium, short range, no, mini missiles. High explosive. Oh, well, I was wrong. So roll 5d6 for the little missile and then 2d6 times 10 for the big one. Okay. I need to just bookmark that page. Times 10. 130. 130. Yep, 130 hit dice. Uh, are you uh, attacking anywhere in particular or just the main body? I'm going at its leg. Take out the, the other missile. The humanoid legs are a good place to start. Okay, uh, legs for 150 hit dice. You blow off uh, for the big one. You blow off a huge chunk of the armor, leaving wires sparking and stuff, but it's still standing just barely. Uh, and then roll your 5d6 for the little missile. Oh shit, that was what I just rolled, in fact. Oh, 5d6 was 13? Yeah. Oh, okay, so 13. Now roll 2d6 times 10 for 2D6. the big one. That's 40. Okay, 40 and 13 is 53. Not quite as much as 130. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, so yeah. Um, you blow off a huge chunk of armor, and you see it's still pretty functional. Uh, that was your first two attacks. Any bonus actions or anything else? I'm gonna use my bonus action to yell, THESE FUCKERS GOT SOME ARMOR! By the way, you can use a flurry of blows and all that stuff to continue doing stuff as well. So, oh, guys, that's exactly what I was not expecting, so... Guys, I'm a little yeah. drunk right now, but like, why... What, what's our objective here? Our objective is to rescue Sarah. That's right. Rescue Sarah. That's what I thought. So on my turn, I'm gonna do stuff. Okay. Dude, they pissed us oh. off. Come on, like let the rage out. They invaded our freaking our base. They what? took my freaking like secondary daughter. <laughs> well, shit. I never so... expected this. Leaving it to the crazy girl to have the clear head. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, yes, flurry of blows for two additional attacks. You bought me like a kilo. <laughs> so flurry of blows to do two additional additional attack. Um, with the laser turret or more missiles. Um, do the laser turret. The laser turret sounds like a good idea. What is it? Uh, make your attack roll the same as it always was. Plus thirteen. 
And okay. laser turret. Before I roll it, yeah, I want to know. Um, let's see. Forearm laser turret. Rate of fire equal to the number of attacks. So one attack is one shot doing 4d6. So I would just do two shots. Yep. You can fire that as quick as you can push the button. Awesome. So and I'm uh, sorry, yeah. I interrupted you. How much damage? Oh. Uh, did you? It's forty-six hit dice for each each okay. shot. Yeah, I'm hit. I'm hitting that button twice, really quickly. <laughs> Do it two times. Plus, what did you say? Thirteen. Plus thirteen, I think. I 18. don't know if you get extra pluses. So eighteen. Are you aiming for anywhere in particular, or just the main body? Just the main body. Okay, that's a hit. Here comes the and second. Then second one. 18. What the fuck? The main body is again? Yeah. Roll uh, 8d6. Hit dice. Against the main body. Twenty. Okay. Uh, it takes him like a champ, but you see that it definitely hurts something inside. Uh, three fifty. And the leg has taken that much, taking it down to that. Okay. And then. That's the left leg, body. Okay, uh, did, that's total you got. Uh, that was your action, bonus action. Yep, Staying that's what I can do. Okay, uh, back to Michael. Fuck yeah. All right. Uh, the big one, the humanoid one's charging at you, and the uh, skull walker's taking shots at you from afar. So the one that was Maybe charging at us, did he stop away. charging because of all the blasts and shit that he had at him? No, he's powering through it. All right, so how close is he in proximity of me? Is he almost at me? He's he's close. He, if you move up to him, you can get him melee range. But that'll move you run up to further him? From, the, Actually, from the skull bot. I'm going to take one shot at a dead... Um, do a dazing shot on the other one. Okay. With what weapon? Uh, the gun. The laser turret or? The plasma gun. Oh, uh, the, yeah, the fucking rail gun, was it? Yeah, the particle cannon. Particle cannon, that's right. And I got a 19. Yeah. I ain't missing that. Plus, that's before the pluses? Yeah. Okay, uh, that's a hit. Are you... And then he has a dazing shot, so he has to roll, and he may lose his next turn. Uh, 12. He fails. And at the same time, I'm going to, like, run up to that other one and punch him with this... Um, Which one the, were you dazing? The, the, the skull the, I guess that'll be the tall of... one. The tall one's not been attacked yet, right? The uh, no, skull the walker. One... The, there's the humanoid one that everybody's attacked, charging you, and then the skull, the skull spider that's. Uh, yeah, the skull spider okay. that nobody is attacked. That one hasn't I wanna, been hit. I want to shoot him one time, and hopefully, I like it. Sounds like I dazed him, so he's yep, fucked for his turn. Him. Yep. And I'm gonna attack this other one that's charging at me with my freaking Wolverine claws. As he's running at me. Okay. Like running uh, at me. Ah! <laughs> uh, following along the same rules, one action is one attack. Uh, that would be, you would only be getting one attack with your claw. I do have an extra attack to use if I need to. Yes, you do. That is your once a day. Attack. Yep, let's do that or then. Once per short rest. 
Okay, Short you're going to do your action surge? Yep. Okay, I make another two attacks with the claws, right? Yep. Okay. 14 and 18. Plus. Yeah, plus stuff. Those are definitely hits. Kill them, kill them. All right, Vibroblade does 1d4 times 10, 1d4 times 10, 1d4 times 10. So roll 3d4, and were, was it a little missile or a big missile that you were firing at the dazing shot? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Was it a little missile or a big missile that you were firing for the dazing shot? That was the particle cannon. Oh, okay. And the particle cannon, K does 1d6 times 10 plus 10. So roll 1d6 and then 3d4. 1d6 is 4. Okay. And you said 3d6? 3d4. 3d4. Four. And so 40. And you go running up and crash, crash, crash. All of you feeling, even in your uh, virtual reality, the clash of the robots as your bodies are jerked forward, hearing this huge thing, this huge crunching of metal sound feeling as you see the out of the corner of your eyes, the arms coming up, punching it in the gut a couple of times as it stumbles back a little bit, firing a missile, twisting his waist just in time to fire a missile at the other one and coming back, doing some more punches. And that ends its turn. Uh, any movement, you did your movement in action, and bonus action was action surge, so it's their turn. They, he's taking the blows and stumbling backwards, smoke coming up from his body. Uh, the robot is still fighting like a champ. It reaches out and grabs hold of you for his first action, or tries to. But your body's moving too quickly for him to grab grab hold of with as you're punching him in the gut. So he's gonna just fire it disadvantage, ranged attack, plus targeting system, 17, hitting you right in the body of your suit with his stomach cannons. Waste cannon does. Uh, there it is. It would have been a double blast. Nine. Twenty-nine. Oof. Forty. For uh, 40 hit dice, no wait, he's got four more, 49 and eight is 55 hit dice of damage that you take directly to your stomach of the of your suit. Shit. Taking it down to 340. Damn. So you are just about 50%. Oh, shit. Do it, do it, do it. Alarms going off on the inside, blink, blinking red lights. Alarms going off. Overheating in core. Overheating in core. And you know that you can fight through this, but you've taken damage. Uh, the second one from the back takes a shot He's with dazed. the. Oh, that's right. Uh, it just lasts for. He's stumbling back, trying to get himself like all gathered again. Systems uh, going crazy. Stumbling like a drunk spider, <laughs> and you see one leg going up, twitching, and that ends his turn. And he already went, so it's back to Ida. Kick some ass, Ida. <laughs> all right. Uh, first thing I'm gonna. You're do in is, your virtual uh, world. First thing I'm gonna do is an external sensor check. I'm looking for life signs inside the building. You detect that there are life signs, but one by one, they're uh, fading. 
they're on the ground floor of the building and you notice them one by one fading really quickly like fade do 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 like they're not dying they're running out of that building into some secure area okay 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 um i'm gonna do something that won't give me any attacks on this round i'm sorry guys mm. but i'm gonna try this out so i got an idea for my turn don't worry i got this covered okay so what i'm gonna do is i want to cast or well cast it's a psionic feature activate uh, i want to activate clairvoyance okay for four side and points. you What's the question? The question is, where? What's her? What's Sarah's her name, right? Yep. Do you okay. guys remember the secretary's name? We didn't give her a name. Yes, you did. Yeah, did. <laughs> right at the very end of the last. It episode. was like Barbara or something like that. Oh, yeah, it was Barbara. Nope. What? No, it was Barbara. What was it? Carol. Carol, okay, you're um, right. You're right. I have to drink. That wasn't her name. name. That's just what we agreed to call her this week. Yeah, don't. This is what happens when we give things names. It's not gonna work out, but. Okay. Carol. Right. Carol. Uh, I'm gonna look at the external sensors, and I'm gonna cast clairvoyance. Uh, I'm gonna look and into the future by doing a little bit of warp. You know, just like just a quick sniff. Yeah. <laughs> You you know exactly where your kid is, even with the the VR headset on. You've done this hundreds of times. So I want to make it show up on the sensors where Sarah is. Uh, what about her? Are you trying to detect her exact location in the building? Uh, but what what are you what kind of sensor are you trying to detect her psychic abilities? Are you trying to detect her genetic? Her body. Can he contact uh, her? Trying to detect her mind. Uh, I am trying Can... to detect her body specifically. You okay. should try and contact uh, her, her and let her know that we're here. I don't think I can reach out that far. Uh, you go She's detecting. <laughs> you go casting the sensors, and you enter virtually at high speed through the front door of the building. You're going in, and you go flying like a, this little ball of light, flying through the building, and you see uh, traces of her genetics leading down the stairs that the people are running down to get cover as their life sensors are disappearing from this barrier that's blocking. But she's not in there yet. She's just on the move. It's been a while. You guys uh, hung out and got your suit fixed up. So, okay, so it's old, but you can't, you can't, you can't quite detect through this barrier, is what I'm saying. Okay, so but you are detecting psychic energy coming from below ground. Okay, guys, there's some kind of underground barrier that our sensors can't penetrate. Nice to know. Yes, find this underground chamber because that's where Sarah is being held. I kind of don't give a fuck about the secretary. Uh, the secretary was knocked unconscious and left there. They didn't care about her. Yeah, I don't... That's why she answered the question. Yeah, uh, she's in my bed. Freaking yep. healing. So. And how dare yep. you say that about Cheryl? Cheryl? <laughs> Drink, what? Carol. Wasn't her name <laughs> I said that on purpose, damn it. <laughs> or, uh... Oh, shit. I can't remember her name. So you guys are trying to remember her name, and eh, that one. But anyway, anyway, I make I make a ping on the sensors to show the exact location of beep. the on the heads up display that you guys are using for targeting. You see a little glowing beam of light, uh, a dot that she's pointing out. Okay, that was my entire turn. So and then I'm uh, speaking to my com oh, Alara. I'm speaking Sorry. to my communicator. Are you asking for me to get this person? We gotta save Sarah, right? We guys gotta jump out. I'll have to take on these mechs myself. But you need a gunner. Yeah, and you realize if we jump out, we're reducing the amount of attacks you get per turn. True. 
Okay, finish off this one freaking guy charging at us. Okay. Well, let's see. How many of those missiles are left? Like three? Uh, one or two more in its shoulder. Or are you talking your missiles? Yeah. There's one of the uh, one little missile and three of the big ones. Okay. So I'm going to save that little missile. Why not? And, Fire him uh, like the one who's charging at us. Just destroy him. I got a different plan for the other one. You want me to use my an, another key point and fire all three big missiles at the uh, crazy guy? A yeah, volley of missiles counts as one regular? action. A volley of missiles counts as one action. Oh, so, so it would, that would give me four. Action. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Well, let's fire some missiles. Okay, uh, roll your one attack for the three big missiles remaining. 17 plus 13 is 30. 30, that's a hit. Where do you want it? Where are you aiming for? Just the main body or? Oh, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that's where the pilot should be. I want to get the pilot. It's attacking with disadvantage because it's a ranged attack in melee range. You guys are wrestling and punching with him right now, so ranged attacks would be disadvantage. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what I get. Okay. Oh, shit. Rolling a 30. Can't do much. 19. 19 is still a hit. Fucking wrecked, kids. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that would be 3 times 2d6 is 66 times 10. On its main body. Michael kind of senses your intent and pushes off him as much as he can to try and avoid the explosion. And two hundred and ten. Two hundred and ten hit dice to his main body. Oh yeah. <laughs> Make dexterity saving throw, uh, uh, my... Got a right. two. No! <laughs> oh, yeah. shit, no, I can... I have ability, I can... I just got level nine, I can re-roll. That's right, but you have to take the next roll. Whatever yep. it is. Even if it's, it's better than a two! <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen! Thirteen. Plus... Deck save, I can't read that. I think it's like seven, eight. So yeah, 21. You managed to push off of it as the explosions blast in your face and you feel the, bo the body of your uh, mech, of your robot vibrating as the waves pass, blow past you. And the smoke clears, the, bla the flashes of light die down. Your eyes kind of... Uh, Seeing spots, you see. You just hear me over, over the. Oh, you did I get him? The, <laughs> it clears away, and you see that uh, most of its body is completely destroyed, just barely hanging on by its spine and and its left side. The whole uh, right side of it, its main cannon and uh, and arm are barely hanging on. You don't know if they're usable, but they look like they shouldn't be. The rest of it's still usable. So that's one of your action. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's use that laser turret cannon. to try to fix it off. The the laser turret or the yeah. Okay. Uh, make make your attack rolls. That's eighteen plus. 31? Yelp. <laughs> and you asked for a second one? Uh, how many attacks are you making? You're making your second attack and then doing flurry of blows? Or Ah, I see. Um, well, I'm going to start by making my second attack and see if I want to do flurry of blows or martial arts. Okay. Roll your 
So your damage, 5d6. Right? Let me just make sure. Laser turret. Is, sorry, 4d6. That's all right. I just took the opportunity to drink while there was dead air. <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, Come on. 5d6. What's the total? 13. Oh, 5. 5. I'm sorry. Seven. No, you were right. It was 4. I'm sorry. 13. 13. 13. Uh, you blasted in the stomach again. You can, you're beginning to see the inner shell of the pilot cockpit, which in itself is armored. You can it's still see standing. him. You can see him. Get him. Get him. Are you going to do anything for bonus action? Yeah. Um, since I can see him, instead of... Not him. You can see the cockpit. The cockpit shell, not the uh, the robot himself, or the uh, yeah. But himself. if I can knock the shell out of the robot, I don't care about either any. Okay, how are you gonna do it? You've got viral blade claws. Uh, shit. Mm -hmm. I'm in the gunners. <laughs> oh, that's right. So it's. So I'm, I'm gonna use a. Uh... Damn. I guess I got enough that I might as well use Flurry of Blows and do two more attacks. Okay, with the same laser turret? Yeah. Two attacks. Thirty. And twenty. Thirty and twenty what? 27, 30 and 27 is Six. 57, 56? That, the, those are the attacks rolls. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yes, they both hit. 30 and 26, both hit? Okay, yes. Sorry, I forgot that step. Because there's not much chance of missing. So it should be 8D. Yes. Twenty-one. Twenty-one more. Yeah. <laughs> you're firing at it, and you're seeing the uh, the chest armor just completely blast away as the inner cockpit is revealed on its chest. Uh. Shit! He's still in there. Uh, Michael. All right. So the other one's like coming out of being dazed, and I want to shoot yeah. a uh, trick shot at the building to make it fall on top of that robot. Okay. Uh, it's not what the kind same of section of the same building that we need to like save that girl from, right? Because we might kill her. <laughs> No, nah, it's already partially like destroyed. We can go underneath it. Okay. They're in the bottom part. Well, it's dead quiet yeah. now. That building's almost destroyed, so I'm pretty sure I can make that fall. What kind of what kind of trick shot are you using? It is. Second. Let's see, the best one to use on this case. Guess I need a drink. I can't hear you guys. <laughs> can Dead, you? Air. Dead air. Sort of Dead sort of. air. Trying, I just trying to. Mine. Damn. Let's see. Dazing shot. Dead eye. Bully. Don't make me drink. <laughs> Why Take are you drink. making me do things, Cody? We gotta get drunk. That's the whole point. 
<laughs> if there's one thing that our viewers come in for, it's just to watch this whole fucking process break down to a bunch of drunken slurs. <laughs> <laughs> they count on it. <laughs> Uh, I didn't I will... know that was our brand. <laughs> yeah, it's always been drink, but responsibly. And we're right, home. So I, I yeah, guess it so... would be freaking Dead Eye. Dead Eye. Or no, when you make a fire nope, attack, you get a creature. Can't do that one. Gain advantage on the attack roll. That just means you roll twice and get the better attack roll, and it's an inanimate object. Which means its armor class is like what five, it, unless the DM six. decides different. <laughs> I I go with six for inanimate objects. Oh, okay. Usually, but yeah, six with a plus thirteen to attack. You don't have to use that. You can hit it. All right. Yeah. I just do a regular shot then. Okay. I make that. Uh, make that bunker fall down. I'm gonna do two attacks with the gun with so the the the, plas- the particle gun. cannon. Yep. Yeah. Particle beam cannon. Two attack rolls. 16. Don't 20. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> oh, shit. Crit, 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 crit city. Everybody. Oh, nice big know. drink. And second one just because. Oh, man, I lost my cup. Oh, yeah. We need I... more crits. That felt good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that one. So roll 2d6. Since the second one was a crit, the second roll will be double. Nine, four, five. Four and five, ten, fourteen times ten. 140 more hit dice to the building. Oh, shit. Yes. Building. Isn't that double for the crit? Yep, I doubled the five to a ten. So that was, uh, instead of 50 hit dice, that was 100. So 140 total. Taking it down to that many as your blood just rip through the bottom. You begin hearing, seeing the crumble of metal, the ground shaking, the bending of metal and kind of the building slowly collapse and begin to lean. Uh, not quite falling yet. Motherfucker. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll do some Close. explosives on my turn if we have any left. You've got that one been small epic. missile left. <laughs> I could just see that robot turn around. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, that's any movement, or you're staying. That's that was your two attacks. So yeah, that's it. Uh, yep. Next up is them. Actually. I do have one question because I might be able to do it. It's called. Um, blah, 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 blah. So second wind. Can I do that for my robot? No, it's just for yourself. It's regaining hit points for yourself. Just for myself, not the robot. Okay, I'm good. Right. I'm good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next up is them. He comes running. He, he jumps back and decides to uh, jumps back about 60 feet, just sliding a little bit as he lands. Uh, attack, attack of opportunity, Michael. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah. One attack with your vibroblade. As you see him jump away and you try and backhand him with your vibroblade. Look, yeah. Attack roll. 11. 11 plus... Uh, a plus 13 is uh, 24. Damn, I can't add 11. Uh, 24, yeah, it's a hit. Yeah. Roll uh, 1d4, 1d4 times 10. 1d4. Rip the fucking cockpit out Three. of the whole thing and just 30. throw it to the ground. 30 hit dice of damage. Oof. Where are you going, bitch? <laughs> he tries to jump away, and you backhand it. Your claws catching into the front of the armor, completely ripping him open so you can see the pilot there exposed. His controls ripped out of in front of him. He looks up at you and puts his hands to his face. No! 
<laughs> and that ends. Nope. He he doesn't have much left. He fires his. You see him his fire missile. a little uh, <laughs> a little rocket from his leg. He reaches over and hits a button. A little rocket flies from his leg. Boom. Lands in the middle of you all and it explodes in a cloud of smoke right in between the two of you, billowing, making him uh, damn hard to see behind it. And then he takes his movement and then it is the skull guy's turn as he's hanging out, taking pot shots from the back. First one hitting an armor class of 21, nine, second one, 23. The Skull Walker. Uh, 2d4 times 10. Okay. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 10. 70 more hits dice of damage to the middle of your, oh, of your midsection. Damn. As uh, I get hit, take a step back, go to the knee, and stand back up. And We're gonna that lose ends. Robot. We're going to have to eject. You're down Fuck to no 280. Uh, next up, it is Gita. Yep, that's me. Um, so I know where she's being held, but it's in this underground bunker that I can't penetrate with sensors, right? Right. That's that's what well you don't know that she's there but if she was anywhere she would be below. Cause... Okay, cool. So we're gonna have to go down. Is there an entry point that's large enough for this mech to fit through, or are we gonna have to go in on? Fire? No. No, you're there gonna have is to jump not... out. You can see that it's all uh, made for humans not wearing giant robot suits to walk through and do office work <laughs> and stuff. Guys, do you? <laughs> I mean, if I go in, I'm gonna be. If I go in, I'm gonna be alone. You know what I mean. I'll take on this guy by myself. You, uh, you two can go out. If the, okay. the suit goes down, I'll catch up with you. Are you sure? Positive. Because you could die. You're gonna lose three. You're gonna lose what? Three, four, five extra attacks per round. Yeah, you're right. But your last attack, you didn't uh, attack. I'll be good, dude. Don't worry. I'm going to take out that building and freaking squash him. Unless you want to freaking try and take a shot before you jump out and try and hit that building and kill the other one, like I was trying to do. Yeah, I won't dash. Is there an eject button? Uh, yes. What does it do? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> does it, Nobody's ever <laughs> tested it. Does it, like, shoot it, my chair out like an, like an airplane? And I, like, no, you come out the yeah, aspect. Like parachute. That's that's the expectation. Or you could fly a turd bullet out of its ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, our name is Ass, so right, Allied the uh, 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 Avalonian Skies Special Operatives. Yep, you don't include the O. It's just Ass. Ass. The O <laughs> is the whole. Asso. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. I just let it come out. This is why we drink. Right? Oh, no. And then, okay, uh, so I'm what are you doing, Hita? I'm going to fire uh, two shots of something, the most powerful thing that we got. So that was two shots of what? Oh, Jose's gone. Oh no, Jose's gone. Oh, no. We lost. We lost DM. him. <laughs> no. Oh my god, I was all describing my turn and shit like an idiot. <laughs> I didn't even notice he was Jose, gone either. Don't worry. Back. We miss you. The names don't look right on the stream anymore. Man, if it wasn't like my turn, I'd be like, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> but it's my turn, 
so I'll just have to wait until Jose comes back. This is the breaking time where you need to pack a bowl, grab a drink. Hey. There we are. There we go. God damn. I had to close out of the app and log out and log back in and all that stuff, and now I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's Hita's turn. I want to it's Hita's turn. Fire uh, shot the most powerful weapon. Uh, the big old particle cannon I was saying has already been fired this round. That has a recharge time of okay. one round. That's fine. What's next? But uh, aside from that, there is one last little missile, the wrist laser turret. Oh, hey, those little missiles are anti-personnel, right? Yeah, high radius, high fragmentation explosion. I want to fire this at the pilot of the other mech. <laughs> it's anti-personnel. It'll kill the Make an attack roll. All right, an attack roll. <laughs> it goes right inside. That's stuff. awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, add 13 to it. Add 13 to my attack roll? Yes. Holy crap, there's no way I can miss then. Right. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, oh! Don't tell me you rolled a one. <laughs> no, you got a twenty. Everybody, drink! I just rolled a nat twenty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So no need to roll damage. How do you want to do it? As he's sitting there covering his face, no, in slow motion with his missiles flying right at his face. Yeah, I fire the missile out, and I'm like, checkmate, motherfucker, and I press the eject button. <laughs> You go eject, and then you hit the eject button as the robot in front of you. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. It is disadvantaged to a tackle because he disappeared behind the smoke roll, smoke cloud. Oh, dude, we have a targeting system. It? Smoke doesn't mess with it. <laughs> uh, if you can't see it, if you can't see it, it is disadvantaged to a tackle. roll. But you still have a... I already drank for it, Jose. I'm going to drink for it, too, as soon as I can find where the hell I left my cup, but... <laughs> okay, I'll still... make another attack roll. Uh, that's kind of... You just took the wind out of my sails. But either way, still... Oh, my it... God! <laughs> I'm finishing my drink. I'm finishing my drink. <laughs> it happened! I just double crit! <laughs> oh my god. I'm like 20, you 20, you 20. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I feel so good. So I repeat myself. How do you want to do this? <laughs> so I fire the missile out of the leg, and it its propulsion systems are offline. I just use the, the missile to fire it so it lobs it like a grenade just into the <laughs> cockpit. And I want him to see it as it lands in the cockpit before it explodes, so he knows it's <laughs> completely fucked. <laughs> you see it land, and you you, you kind of almost get it in there. Instead, this m missile falling, this few hundred pound traveling at maybe like 80, 90 miles an hour, Crack! Lands right on his left arm, severing it from his body, leaving pudding inside what le what's left of his skin sack on his left arm. And he looks at it, no! No! And he tries to pull himself off and almost is about to jump down as kaboosh, you see his body flattened against the ground from the, impact of the impact of the explosion. As you see nothing left but a mild puddle and scorched earth. Quick question. Uh... Yes. Does the mech explode? Meh. Just internally. Uh, let me let me let me finish. Uh this mech had thirteen hit dice left. Uh roll damage and double it, which would be five D six. Five D six? Yes, the missile is five D six, the laser turret's four D six and the big missile's 2d6 times 10. Mm, I got so, 16. 16? It had 13 hit dice left. Uh, plus doubled for crit, 32. Boom. You hit the eject button, and as you're flying up, you see the top half of the mech following you up. Spin halfway in the middle of the air and begin going back down as you're continuing to fly up. And just for shits and giggles... 
Michael, make a technology roll. Okay. Let's, let's see how well you rigged this ejection 17? Sheet. Plus in proficiency in intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> the parachute opens and you begin gliding down in your seat with the uh, X straps crisscrossed across your chest. Okay, is it going to take a round for me to get to the ground or can I use my movement action? Uh... You are about 200 feet up. Oh, this is a really tall robot, I guess. <laughs> well, you hit the eject the eject button, and that shit fired you okay, straight so up. I guess... Eh, maybe, yeah. I so. guess. Uh, there's another mech, right? Yep. Uh, the spider walker that's taking pot shots at you from behind the, the 60-story okay, skyscraper. Okay, one attack, right? That was your one action, yep. Was it my action, or was that just or, one? Well, that was one of your attacks. One okay. of your attacks, yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn while I'm while I'm in the parachute still strapped into the seat. I'm going to try and turn to face the other robot, the, the other mech. Right? And you're going to... And I'm going to fire a grenade launcher around at it. Make your attack roll. Okay. Uh, at disadvantage, because this fucker's like 400 feet away. At disadvantage? Okay. Uh, yeah. 12 total. 12 total. <laughs> you see it as right before it's about to hit him, <laughs> it explodes just uh, out of range of out of range of him. Shit. Well, I tried, guys. I'll be on the ground in one round, and after I get there, I'm going to be rushing straight for Sarah. We need to get her out of this compound and try not to kill anybody other than the guy that I just killed <laughs> and the other guy no that's in the other mech and you know what I, I'm too high for this yeah <laughs> okay so yeah uh, after he does is Alara alright so I believe Hida used the rest of our big missiles am I right Yep. No, I yep. only used a small missile. There was only one left. All the big missiles were unloaded by Alara Just last the round. The laser turret now? Yep, the laser turret and your vibro claws. Okay. Well, since the thing isn't within vibro claw reach, let's laser turret its ass. Okay. Uh, two attack rolls. Nineteen. Hit. Nat twenty. Oh, oh shit. fuck! I just finished my drink for the last double nat twenty. All right. I just back and relax because I just drink. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Um. Roll. Four d six times two. Eight d six for your two hits. Also, I'd like to welcome Alara to the Crit Club. Now everybody is crit at least once tonight. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Except for the DM. DM's crits don't count anyway. I'm... <laughs> ah, boy. <laughs> okay. So, what's the damage? 27. 27, and then half of that was 13. Add double the second roll for the crit. What was the second 46? 14? Yeah. Something like that. So we'll add another 28 to the 27 is 41 hit dice of damage. As two blasts. Uh, are you aiming for the main skull or legs or. With this, I would aim for the main skull, yes. Okay, main body. For. 41. Takes it down to... Okay. As the head kind of bobs, almost like a face getting punched from either side real quick. And anything else? It didn't look like it affected it much. I don't have a lot of actions that I can take that involve sitting in a cockpit. So I'm going to use martial arts and do a bonus attack. Okay. 
jump out and go help uh, uh, Ida. Ida. Well, I want to. Okay. Well, you can use that as your movement. Okay. Uh, well, first that, I will but... use the laser turret again as my bonus action. No, wait. Yeah, awesome. as your martial arts bonus action? No. no, forget it being my martial arts bonus action. It's going to be my flurry of blows one because it will also increase my speed. Okay, do it. 27. That's a hit. And 30. That is also oh. a hit. I don't know if anybody noticed that I left with him back now. Oh. <laughs> no, nobody noticed. Just like my crits don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, go ahead and roll another 8d6. Jeez. 37. Another 37. Its head bobs back and forth, taking it. Let's, let's smash that like button. I mean, I'm sorry, the eject button. The <laughs> smash that like button. Fucking destroy that like button, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna get two likes on this video. If I get two likes, I'm satisfied. <laughs> Can't wait till we start making enough money to be able to start doing giveaways and shit. <laughs> Dude, that's right. a long ways away, but we could do yeah, it. Yeah, it is. Okay, so uh, another. Yeah, it takes us two, and then you hit the eject button. Flying 180, 200 feet up into the air, and the parachute opens as you begin falling. As you fly right up past Hida, who's almost to the ground, and you begin falling slowly as well. Oh, damn it. I forgot that I was going to lose my speed anyway. Well, shit. You got two more good hits on it. Maybe it'll help out. Heat separates my chair from, heat from uh, Alara's chair. Maybe about a uh, hundred. Oh, never mind. I was going to say Alara could jump to my chair and then jump to the ground. But uh, you, Alara... Don't you have like that uh, slow fall? I certainly do. I can take a... Uh... Reduce falling damage by 45. So, yeah, what's your movement is... So you can jump down 45 feet with no issue. Uh, and then move 60. And then move 60. That's 105 right there. So, yeah, you can jump down to a uh, Hida's chair and be down the okay. same time as her. So Let's you jump off. <sighs> You're sitting there waiting for the ground to come, looking down. Oh, shit, it's coming. It's coming as quack. These two huge pairs of feet land in between you, Hida, and you see Alara standing in front of you, uh, holding onto your chair like Spider-Man. Okay, as she does this, it rotates my chair just a little bit while I'm aiming my grenade launcher, and I'm like, come on, I missed last time. What the hell are you trying to do to me? <laughs> <laughs> Michael, your turn. All right, let's take a freaking day shot at this motherfucking mech, and then I'm going to take another shot at the building and make it collapse on top of him. Okay. Uh, this is your second grit point. You need to kill something. Wait, you got a nat 20, right? Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, we add you, you get a one grit point back on a nat 20. So you're we back up two. to two. You're yep. back up to two. Yeah. 18... Uh, yeah, that's a hit, plus 13, 31, and then... 19! That was, that was, <laughs> nice. They're both hits. Those were one attack on the robot and one attack on the building? Yep, he's got to throw a uh, roll of uh, dazed... Um... Okay. Uh, saving throw, yeah. Guys, I didn't think I was feeling it. <sighs> I'm totally feeling it. Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> he rolls a, a nat seven on his attack roll or on his saving throw, so he fails. Nice. So he's dazed again. <laughs> As you see it stumbling again with one of its legs twitching on the other side, just like it did a moment ago. What was it? 18 seconds ago <laughs> when you did that <laughs> dazing shot. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's dazed, and, uh, roll damage for the building. Come on, 
big number. Um, how many D6? Uh, I think it's 1D6 times 10 plus 10. Six! Yes. 60, 70 hit dice of damage more to the building. Oh, fuck. The building is... You see, <laughs> the building is so freaking close. As the building oh, begins God. leaning, <laughs> what? Come on. Come on! Come it's leaning. On. It's leaning towards it and kind of looming over it. Jose, and you can see, like that. you see faces of people sliding and falling up against the windows of this sixty-story building, looking down at their deaths coming in, uh, in fear. Oh, there's civilians in the building. And, uh, <laughs> you know what? It's okay, them. they're bureaucrats. I have no respect for them. Give me one second. Give me one second. This oh, is. <laughs> oh, hey, it's alright. They have one more turn to get the fuck out before I destroy it. This guy's gonna lose his turn. Guys, we're good. Guys, we're good. I don't care about anything right now. I'm so <laughs> spacey. You worry me when you talk like that, Hita. Don't worry, I can shoot straight. As you guys are writing down, looking down below you, seeing maybe uh, about 300 feet away from you, on the other side of the building, kind of moving around it, the spider walker kind of disappears, takes two more shots at Michael's robot. Fuck no, he doesn't. He's dazed. Oh, you're right. Damn it! Get wrecked, <laughs> Get fucking wrecked! <laughs> Skipping his turn. Fuck yeah. Making it now, oh. Alara. As you're writing down, you're uh, about 30 feet from the ground now. I'm, st I'm still 30 feet from the ground? Okay, well, I'm Alara jumping. There. You're about to land. Uh, yeah, you, no, oh, I'm sorry, Hita, you go before Alara. Yeah, I do. No. I was like, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> you're, about 30, you're about 30 feet from the ground. The parachute is beginning to collapse on itself. You're about to land, seeing, uh, right in the middle of the compound, uh, almost kind of at the base of the building with about 300 feet away from you, the spider walker kind of looming and firing over your head at Michael away. behind you. I can't mm -hmm. do anything about that, and I'm 30 feet in the air, which means I can't jump down because I suck. Um, <laughs> there are there is openings on the third floor, fourth floor of the building. If you want to try and make an acrobatics check to jump across to the building on the third floor, would that put me closer to the entrance and allow me to take enough of a movement action to get in this in this bunker? Uh, you. This is the sixty-story building that you're in. Uh, that's right next to you. You would end up getting out. It's leaning over. There's a. You can get out on the third floor, or just hang on to the parachute till you get to the ground floor. Uh, as much as I don't want to, I'm gonna hang on to the parachute, which means what I'm gonna do. Hold your action. Actually, <coughs> are there any uh ground personnel? Ready to meet up? Not outside. Not outside, no. So there's no ground... The, our landing is clear. Correct. Okay, so I'm gonna just wait until we land. But what I'm gonna do, and I don't know if I can, but I would like to take the dodge action. Okay. As you're getting ready to jump off in any direction, and then it is Hita's turn. I want to make sure that I'm doing the dodge action. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, not Hita. Alara. I want to make sure I'm yeah. the action right, so let me look up the rules. It gives them disadvantage to attack rolls against you. So I'm going to literally jump off of this thing towards the ground. Okay, easy enough. <laughs> leaving Alara behind. Peace! Or leaving Hida behind. Oh, drink! <laughs> drink. Damn it, I'm already drunk. That's why I'm messing up the names. <laughs> No, it gets harder as you go. That's the point. Okay. Uh, leaving Hita behind, you jump off. Oh, shit. All right. And then... Oh, fuck. Oh, well, that was a mistake. Landing on the ground. Uh, we'll say that's How used far? 10 feet of your movement so far. Really? Okay. Yeah, falling that quickly. Okay. Um... 
you guys remember last week when I said I forgot to pour soda in my drink and I just took a shot of it? Yeah, did, did it again. I literally just did the same thing. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I have to like be more conscientious when I drink. <laughs> and that's what we're all about. Drink, public drink the eight and ru- 90 rules of art, as a book one I read once said. Yeah? Yes. To exceed by subtlety. Um, or you could just it's take double Lars. shots to the head all night. It's a Lars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still my turn. I took 10 feet of my movement falling. I wasted my last move doing a flurry of blows because I thought I was going to get to this the is, ground. This is a brand new turn. So yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. 35, 35 movement? 40? How far away from me is the building? Uh, about 40 feet away. Oh, so we'll I can get still right get up to there the without front. even dashing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's get to the front of that building and open it up. You get up to the front of it, the glass is completely blown out from the missile explosions. As you get up to the front, running in, and you look, seeing the blinking lights of the track lighting and the last of the people going down a staircase... Uh, all the way at the back of the building. I yell out, Alara, I'm right behind you. You're gonna stare that way too, huh? And you are up front. Uh, at the front. Any action or anything, the blinking lights, the last person goes down the stairs. I like dash for another 15 feet. Okay, uh, use step of the wind and dash. Or... Well, let's see. Because dash is your full movement all over again. Step of the wind is dash is a bonus action. Oh, I know. Sure. So, step yeah, you'd wind. be able to do step of the wind step and Step of the wind to dash. start out with. You jump over, kind of vaulting over these cubicles that are all shattered and covered with uh, the ceiling tiling dust. Jumping over it, leaving footprints behind, and flying... You end up making it just to the just to the edge of the stairs. You're about ten feet away from him. Okay. Well, now I can do an actual dash. And you go running down the stairs, catching up to the to a balding man with a ring of hair around his just above his ears. Oh, dude, and... you're so quick as a monkey. You get so much goddamn mobility. <laughs> <laughs> and he's looking up at you. Ah, no! No! <laughs> and turns off running. <laughs> was it my winning smile? No, I think it was actually your BO. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Communications over the intercom. Uh, taking it up to Michael's turn. All right. All so we're facing certain death. Let's kill this freaking uh, mech. Let's. Uh... I got one more shot. Let's do another dazing shot to him. And okay. take another shot at the building. That's <laughs> still the same. Thing. <laughs> I'm inside that building. I'm so glad I got downstairs. You're downstairs. <laughs> yeah. You're good. Don't okay. As no need to roll an attack. Well, roll a 20 sided die and try not to roll a 1 for the building. Uh, 12. Yeah. So <laughs> your blast goes through the shot, through, or your shot goes through the building. <laughs> As you see this flash of light right above you, uh, Alara, and the building begins falling towards you. Make a dexterity saving throw as the rubble begins pouring down the stairways that you're running down. Well, the good news is that's at a plus five at least, right? No. That's at a plus nine, yeah. and I rolled a 19, so it's 20. Nine. So, yeah. You do a little somersault, flip, cartwheel, shoulder roll because you're standing up at the base of the stairs as the rubble collapses behind you. Michael, you're out there as the building begins falling backwards towards it, and it has a disadvantage at his saving throw because he's dazed. Or wait, no, he doesn't get... He fails his deck save. Uh-huh. He's pretty much dazed, stuck there, and I can do it. You bought us the rumble. 
and the cl and the cloud of smoke as this building's falling away from you, the shattering of the glass of the remaining, and it takes almost a full round for this uh, building to collapse as the bottom half lands on him and knocks him off to the side. Roll 1d10 and 1d6, Michael. Seven. Yeah, six, eight. Four. Did it, boys. Seven and four is 11. That's 110 hit dice of damage as the building collapses on him. That was a good hit. <laughs> no, guys, I'm feeling it now. I'm drunk. He's not <laughs> quite bloodied. Uh, as <laughs> the building collapses over him, and you can barely see the top dome of his skull protruding from the top. Uh, he is now restrained. Nice. Uh, let us go yeah, to... Awesome. And, and your second attack against... The, or You didn't roll your second attack for your day's shot. Yeah, and he declared that he was going to do day's shot first. Just for he did. Word. Yep. Roll roll an attack roll. Just for Twelve. shits and giggles. 12 plus 13 is 20 through 25 you hit. So yeah, he fails his save. Fails the, yeah, fails everything, takes damage. Go ahead and roll 1d6 for damage on that. Five. Times 10 is 50, plus 10 is 60. It is finally bloody as the building collapses on him. You can see electrical sparks and it's restrained. Uh, it is now uh, any movement. You are about 500 walk feet over away the from it. Top of the fucking building and stand it's, on top of his head and point the gun at him. It's going to take a full sprint to get there, but you can do it. Let's do it. And at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Make a acrobatics check. Fourteen. Fourteen plus stuff. You jump up on the rubble as it slides underneath your feet, and you manage to grip, take a solid grip, pointing your gun at the skull. And Alara uh, or Hida is Hida. You. You eventually land right beside the crumbled building. Okay, I disconnect from my seatbelt, obviously. Like, I was already ready to do that by the time I landed. Yep, you um, you already had it disconnected okay. as your dodge action. So I get, uh, I'm gonna book it for this underground complex, this, like, bunker that, I, that our sensors the, couldn't penetrate. The building has completely collapsed over the entrance. What about Alara? Is Alara still Yeah, there? I'm in trouble. <laughs> She's in there by herself. <laughs> Is the only one that can get there now? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> what are you going to do? How are you going to make it work? Oh my god. Ah, Alara! Oh my god. I, I get on the communicator and I'm like, Alara, are you okay? What's going on? I can't get inside. And it kind of staticky coming through, penetrating this barrier. <laughs> Laura, <laughs> inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's that's just what I'm going to communicate back. Fuck, fuck, fucking building. <laughs> fuck, you here. <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh, Laura, I didn't know you for very long, but don't you dare die on me. And, uh, <laughs> fuck, I don't know Back. what I'm gonna do. Son of a bitch. Oh, the whole point of me ejecting was so I could get in that building. <laughs> oh, I should have just jumped off on the third floor like a normal fucking person. Okay. You would have died. Yeah, I probably would have died. <laughs> totally be dead. Okay, so I'm going to, uh... It did 110 hit dice of damage to the spider walker as it fell on it. <laughs> you you would have died. How far away is this stupid spider walker? I know it's going to be ridiculously far that I would. Uh, it's, it's about 300 feet away. Yeah, I'm totally fine. On the other side of the building, as the building finally finishes collapsing. Okay, so to clear the rubble, just to clear the rubble without hurting Alara. 
I'm gonna fire a grenade at the rubble. Okay. <laughs> Make an attack roll, don't roll a one. <laughs> okay, seriously. Oh, please, God. Oh, my God, please. Uh, grenade launcher. Don't roll a one. Okay, I got a 25. That works. Roll your damage. What uh, is it, 46? <laughs> it is a 14 hit dice to the rubble. Yep. Okay. You blast a decent sized pit with black scorched earth. One more grenade and you should be able to break through. One more grenade, one more? Probably. Okay, that's my second attack then. And I use, it's a bonus action to reload, right? Or is it an interaction? Uh, it's a bonus action. Okay, so I reload and then fire the second one. Okay. Boom. Yes. Don't Boom. Win. This time it's 23 damage. Okay. And you see kind of a scorched, broken stairway with a bunch of rubble collapsed and pouring down it. You can make it down your down your down there, but it is counts as difficult terrain unless you make a athletics check or acrobatics. Your choice. Acrobatics check or athletics check. Yeah, to make to move down at normal speed. Okay, so I'm DC gonna my eighteen. Move, I'm gonna use my move action and I'm gonna try my damnedest to roll an eighteen. Are you ready? Okay, here it goes. Twenty. Right. <laughs> dirty, dirty twenty. But we're still gonna. Do okay. It. Still, that succeeds as you're jumping down, feeling the rubble roll underneath your foot, feet. But you manage to kind of uh, surfer mode guy, chill out, hang ten, dude, down the side of the stairway, down the stairway, sliding, and you get to the bottom, seeing Alara just at the other side, uh, running towards a guy in a lab coat with. Uh, that's bald with a bit of hair just above above his ears. Quick question. Never mind. I'm drunk and forgot it. And then it is Hita or Nate Alara's turn. <laughs> yes. Nobody likes Quiet. You. you guys are a bunch of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Big dicks. Don't you forget it. Every time I, I make a joke that doesn't <laughs> land, I have to drink. <laughs> That's a self-imposed rule. I'm not disavowing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys don't have to do it, but I think I think it's a fair drink. Okay. So yeah, uh, Alara, you're up. You're uh, running so down the stairway, this? seeing this, seeing this scientist running away, and a group of other people that have come down just before him, running towards the back room. You see in this room that it is. Uh, that at the far end of it, there are four soldiers in full riot gear standing there. Come on, this way, this way, ushering people through a hallway. Uh, okay. There's not much else in this room except for maybe a computer on the left, kind of a wall computer, the big old super, you know, like a wall of servers hey, on Omar, the left side. Can you, like, throw a grenade at these guys or something? I have no explosive whatsoever's. Because I don't feel like any compassion for these guys at all. As much as you weren't wanting to kill people? <laughs> Listen, I'm neutral good, right? But I think that my good comes from Outweighs. destroying the coalition. The good, hey, the it works. She's an the interesting girl. In the world that we do is by destroying the coalition and all who oppose it, or all who support it, right? So that means these scientists are not fucking innocent. So kill them all. So, kill them all, I so, say! <laughs> I'm gonna run and see if I can uh, actually go down that hallway like the everybody else. So you're just uh, running down the stairs trying to figure out who else is there? I'm trying to run down the stairs and figure out who else is there. That's right. 
Yeah. Okay. You're running through. You see a couple of office groups, and you see the the only real possible threat. Aside from these civilians not wearing armor where, with pens in their pockets, you see the four soldiers at the far end ushering these people through a hallway. Damn it. There's maybe a total of eight people between you and them. About 40 okay. feet away. And this is after some dashing. I don't think you've moved yet. You're at the bottom of the stairs. Okay, well, let's move. Let's get in there. Towards the soldiers? I want to go, if I want to follow their directions. Let me roll an investigation check for them real quick. Matt 17. Oh. Uh, As you go running up... <laughs> Oh, that's not at all. We're fucked up. <laughs> Michael, did you like change your input device or something? Because we're getting a really bad echo from you. Uh, I don't think so. Well, it's gone now. So now we're not. Okay, so Alara Dad, so, what happens, Dia? There we go. Okay. <laughs> So, what's the plan? You're running towards the soldiers as they begin uh, to look up at you in slow motion, pull their guns and point them at you. Freeze! Okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, I guess everybody... Nope, we'll keep on on the same initiative. I'll just roll initiative for them. Okay. Oh, that's still rolling initiative. We're drinking. <laughs> We're still drinking. <laughs> you still alive, uh, Aaron? <laughs> Oh my god. I'm still alive. Guys, I'm so drunk right now. I can't even, like, fucking see straight. Okay. Um, <laughs> you're running towards these soldiers. They're about to point their guns at you. What are you going to do? Have I... That was just movement, right? You can get up to them and attack them if you want. They're within 40 feet. Okay. Let's do that. You're pushing through the people out of the way, and you get up to the first set of two guards as they begin pointing their four of them begin pointing their guns at you. What do you do? Attack the first two, one. Yeah, two vibroblade glove attacks on the first guy. On the first guy. Okay, or splitting. That's what I was. Nope, asking. he's the one who screwed up and stood there. Okay, roll two attacks. <laughs> Seventeen. That is a miss. And eighteen. That is a hit. <laughs> so okay, you, with the first one, your armor kind of glances, kind of Kevlar-looking riot suit armor. Ching. Your second one pierces in underneath it. Fine, you want to stop that? Stop this, and roll your damage. Okay, so that's. Are you nine? Yeah. Okay. Plus eleven. Eleven hit points of damage as you jam it in his gut. <laughs> and he's looking two of them are vibroblade. So I think that's like double against flesh, right? Uh it's hit dice against uh metal and hit points against flesh. Okay. So it's eleven hit points of damage to him, actually him. And uh, as he kind of uh, leans forward, blood coughing out of his mouth. <laughs> and anything else? Yes. I'm going to do some martial arts on his ass. No. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm not grappling him, so I'm going to do some martial arts on his ass. Make it a attack roll. You jump up in the air, do a kind of a spin pulling your left hand out of his glove, coming around, doing a full flip in the air. Oh, for bring, fuck's sake, and 11. Bringing your right hand down towards him, and he kind of stumbles backwards, just out of your reach. All right, that's my action and, then, and my bonus yeah, action. That sucks. And then it is the soldier's turn. 
He got really high on initiative, so he beats out Michael even. Uh, <laughs> see, he, all four of them, point their guns at you. Oh, I'm shit. sorry. Awesome. Uh, I don't know if I want to take a picture of this. I don't know if guns do uh, hit dice, but I also know that Jose just rolled a fucking crit. I'm yeah, sorry. everybody drink. Uh, <laughs> you <do> count. <laughs> we are so fucked, guys. This is gonna be a to This is gonna be a TPK. You were right. <laughs> it, it's it can go either way. It's the goddamn guys... Kobayashi Maru and no win scenario. Jose is just a sadistic. <laughs> If I have to save your guys' ass, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> you won't even be able to get into that bunker with the mech. You'll just have to... Um, no, I have to jump out. But I'm completely like, full life. Everything's stocked except for my mech. Yeah, he's got vibro blades to cut away the cut away the hole, uh, a hole. Well, it's already ground. got a hole. i got good acrobatics. Right. I can get down there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, absolutely. There's second. already an entrance. Are you telling me... Are you telling me that when I use those two grenades, I could have just as easily used my vibro blade to cut a hole in the debris? It does less damage than your grenades, but yes. God damn it, I'm gonna drink for that. I feel like a fucking <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a sec. I only had two grenades looking... left. <laughs> oh no. And I used them both on the stupid fucking Ah uh... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Against your armor, with this crit, 8 and 3 is 11. 11 times 2 is 22 hit dice of damage oh, no. on your... Are you wearing a helmet? Yes. Okay, on your head. Oh no. Damn. Damn. The first blast just completely takes you in the face, knocking you back, stopping you in your tracks. The second blast comes across. Wait a you. second, is this a is this a ranged attack? They are ranged attacks. So I'm going to use my reaction to lower the damage of that ranged weapon attack. It's not. Uh, you can okay. Let's say you can do that to make it. To, to designate whether you want your damage to go to your arms or legs. Oh, yeah? Um, that's fine, then, I guess. Then, yeah, I'd, I'd rather them go to my legs. Okay. So you take... Go ahead and roll your however much it was. To de decrease it? For, for the deflect missiles. Yeah, I'm doing it. I reduce it by 16. So you take six hit dice of damage to your choice, your left leg or right leg. As you throw uh, your left, up, seeing this blast, throw your left leg up, seeing this blast come at your head, and you manage to kind of deflect it, just kind of uh, doing a backwards somersault, and then. As you told as you me 55 hit dice of, uh, for my legs. I'm sorry. Is that each? Each leg, yes. Okay. Uh, the second attack misses. The third attack hits, and the fourth attack hits an armor class of 17? No. Okay, so just the second one hits. Oh, how, much, how much did that first one hit for? Uh, six. Six, okay. Leg. I get you. And then you take 13 on your head. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. So you take a blast to your face, the last one missing. And then um, that's that ends what she said. four soldiers. <laughs> yeah, I missed your That's what he said. I missed your face. <laughs> uh. I'm drinking for that fail. For God's sakes. <laughs> my eye. I still miss. I still miss my axe, but my aim is improving. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, rip monetization, guys! We're never gonna get monetized for this shit. 
<laughs> so yeah, that's uh, all four of their attacks. The Skullwalker, it's his turn after yours, Michael. Yep. So I'm gonna like stand, that, stand, there stand over, over top of him and shoot the two freaking uh, gunshots directly at his freaking head with advantage because he is restrained. Nineteen. Make your uh huh. Nineteen. That's nice. Okay. I like that. Okay, so that's your first attack. Mm -hmm. You definitely hit. Roll two more dice for your second attack. You take the higher. Eight. Fourteen. So you take the 14 plus 13 is 27, even through the rubble. Both blasts at his head. Uh, roll 2d6. Nine. Five, four. Okay, nine. 90. 110 hit dice of damage more straight to his skull. <laughs> You see the blast leaving huge metal dents in it. The armor is definitely depleted. It, he's, he's looking pretty rough. Comparatively. I'm so glad he misses his turn. Uh, is one of those... No. He, yeah, well, it's his turn. <laughs> Taking these two blasts to the head. He makes a strength check. Well, he was dazed, remember? Uh, yeah, but it ends at the end of your at the end of your turn. You didn't do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah you didn't do the second dazing shot on your turn. It skips him. Yeah. So yeah, uh, at the end of your turn, the daze ends, and he is back to normal. Uh, he what does he do? He uses his strength check with the robot. <laughs> Is a 13 plus it's gonna be close. Uh coalition spider walker official strength is checking the rolls drink. Drink I'm also on top of him, so that's extra weight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he makes it a disadvantage. Uh he fails. His second roll mm -hmm. was a natural nine. Which could bring it up to 18, and to break off this rubble off of him, the DC is 28. So yeah, he's still restrained. He can't break free, and you're... <clears throat> Are you positioned closer to the front of the skull or the back of the skull? I guess more the back of the skull. Okay, you're kind of aiming at the back of his head, taking shots... And you notice something that you didn't notice before. A little laser turret on the back of its head that turns and aims towards you. God damn it. Rolling a natural <laughs> two on its attack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to drink anyway because it was so close and I'm already drunk. So <laughs> and he rolls a seven for his second attack. Um, which does... Let's see, upper laser turret on the rear of its head. Hitting an armor class of 19, which hits your suit. Uh, laser turrets does anti-personnel, 66, 4, 6 is 10, plus another 8 is... 18 hit dice of damage directly to your chest, taking you down to 252. <laughs> directly to your chest. Alarms continue sparking, and this time the uh, overheat button starts alarming. <laughs> and you hit the extinct fire extinguisher button <laughs> inside the chest cavity, cooling it down, and continue on with Ida, you finally you get down to the bottom of the stairs, as and you see just in time you you arrive just in time to see uh, Alara running through the crowd and attacking the first soldier. Okay, I have a I have a legit question out of game. Okay, it's midnight. 
Should I yeah. pour, let's should I bother pouring another drink? Yes. Fair. I'm gonna do that right now. Alright, yeah, uh, to get to a stopping point, I'm expecting another 15-20 minutes okay, at well, I'm least. Gonna, I'm going to add some Probably 30. drinkage to my drink and fill her up, so I trust... I wouldn't say a full here. drink. It's too late Not now, boss. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, Just what he did Now we're did definitely going to leave, lose Cody. Oh, no, if I'm mixing with Red Bull, dude, there's no way I'll fall out. We may just lose my mind, though. I might fucking go crazy. <laughs> but that'd be completely in character anyway, so go with it. What's, what do you do this action? <laughs> okay, uh, after pouring myself a drink, there we go, I would like to uh, do the thing where I... Uh-oh. Hang on, I have what enhanced do you do? senses, I have autonomic reaction... Ah, oh, shit. Am I stressed out? Uh, yeah. Fuck. Okay. That's not good. Yeah, I get minus one to dexterity and plus one to initiative. Um, I'm going to... Enhance speed. Oh, increase by ten feet. I didn't know that. You're about forty feet away from these uh, soldiers that have just fired at... Alara. Okay, I want to set it up so that I can hit both of them with my shotgun. I want to run, because I have 40 feet of movement, okay. so I can get close. So yeah, you go running sideways, kind of strafing a little bit, and take your shot, and... Okay, shot. Got go it. ahead. Q44. Go ahead and make an attack roll. The second one is going to be considered three-quarters cover for your attack roll. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay. Uh, first attack roll is going to be 24. That is a hit on both of them. Okay, I deal 8 hit dice worth of damage. The first one takes it to his, to his chest and goes stumbling backwards. The second one behind him and goes stumbling backwards and falls to the ground, holding his chest taking the breath and kind of clutching the stomach wound that Alara gave him. I'm going to be like, uh, you on the wrong street, cuz. Blah, blah. <laughs> roll your second attack roll. Okay, I'm going to make, uh, my, so the guy that I shot first is down, right? Yeah. Is uh, dead? no, the guy that you hit second in the back. The guy is... that I hit second is dead? Or no, just... the guy that you hit second is on the ground. Okay. Well, that gives me advantage. Okay. Uh... Wait. Uh, ranged attack on a prone guy? But it's a shotgun. That is disadvantage. Okay. You back, Aaron? No, uh, we just lost Ronnie. Oh, Ronnie. Okay. Ronnie, welcome back. I'm back. Okay. Okay. Whatever. I deal seven damage on my first shot. Yep. Eight. And eight. then the second one. Yeah, eight damage on my first shot. And the second. Roll your one... attack roll. Yep. Gotta make that attack roll. Is eleven. That's a miss on both of them. Oh no 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 no! My attack roll at disadvantage is twenty three. Okay. Uh, that. It's both of them again. Sorry, guys, bear with me. I'm kind of fucked up. <laughs> okay, uh, 11 damage on that one. To the chest again. Hit dice, straight up. Uh, to the chest armor. Yep. As uh, the chest armor on the first one is pretty tore up, it is pretty damn near gone. The second guy's lying on the ground. He took that shot to his face because he was lying on the ground. <laughs> and he is dead. Yeah, eat shit, son. <laughs> eat dicks. That's what you get for joining the coalition. What the hell? Avalonian skies for life, motherfucker. As you brandish the tattoo that you got that nobody noticed before. <laughs> right? It's like on my chest. I've only worked with them for like two days, but I already got a tattoo. It's been like a week and a half. Which I've had no time. It's all been travel, so I somehow 
managed to get this secret tattoo <laughs> when right? nobody was looking. <laughs> and then, Alara, your turn. Carol gave All it right. to you. Right? <laughs> Carol. No, nah, fuck Carol. I don't like Carol. But Cheryl is much cooler. That's her daughter. <laughs> Who the hell's Cheryl? <laughs> We need to get we need to get somebody in the office that knows what's up. Somebody in the office that's like, like like me, street cred. No, somebody that's like into doing drugs, like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that man. would be Carol's daughter, Cheryl. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe, maybe. Let me let me uh, plot that little bit of uh, story out. So, anyways, yeah, you guys are. Uh, Takes it after Alara's turn. Yeah, so ha the one is on the ground. Dead. The one Dead. is standing next to you that was just shot. And there are two behind them that have been unhurt. This is going to be a really fucked up situation. There's two more. Yeah. Goodness me. Okay. Well, let's... Get get up to the shot one. Uh-huh. And one right one you. attack at a time. Decide whether or not I'm done killing him or not. Okay. Make your attack rolls. First one. 21. That's a hit. Roll damage. Eight plus... 11. Are you uh, attacking his armor or his flesh? Can I attack his flesh? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely attacking his flesh. Okay, so 11 points of damage. <laughs> Just like the other one, you bring the, the blades up underneath the armor into his stomach, doing 11 points of damage. <laughs> he begins coughing out blood as well, reeling from the shotgun shot that he just took. He's still alive, but coughing blood. Bloodied for sure. Guys, wouldn't it be hilarious if I just fucking died? Oh yeah, not yet. That'd be great. <laughs> Soon. That would Soon, really, young Padawan. That would really suck if I just fucking died. <laughs> you have It'd be funny. Yeah, we'd get to see some of the other two characters that they decided to call in for interviews. It would be hilarious. Just so I want you to know, Jose, if I die, there's no hard feelings. I know. Uh, yeah. Hoping the same goes for everybody else, because shit yeah. I fucking lose. <laughs> so I, I, I I've done one done attack. I'm gonna do a good. second attack. All right. Okay, make your attack roll. Nineteen. That is a hit. Yeah. All right. For thirteen damage. To the flesh. As you bring the one up under his stomach, kind of lifting him up, you bring your right hand across as his head goes lopped off, flying through the air, landing on the ground, and you give a dirty look to the other two. An intimidating stare. Like, holy shit, <laughs> Very I didn't good. Know you were going to go that hard, man. <laughs> Full on decapitation? I'm going to need some more coffee for this shit. <laughs> Okay. I don't uh, see the anything difference. Else? Anything else? Yes, There's I'm no, uh... also going to uh, do a patient defense, okay. which is dodging as a bonus action. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Alara's a girl. You got a drink. I'll drink with you, <laughs> Jose. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. And after that, it is Michael's turn. What about he? As you're standing. Oh, oh, sorry. I forgot. Hida. No, wait. What? Hida, you go right it before Alara. It is Michael's Alara. turn. Oh, it, it is, is Michael's, Michael's turn. turn. That's right. I'm sorry. I'm fucked up. All right. Let's do two more shots of this fucker. Oh, shit. Just standing right over him. Blast, blast uh, with advantage on both attacks because he is restrained still. Stomping on my foot, freaking telling him to get back down at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 
The plus 19. 13 is a 25 and 31. 32. You hit with everything. Uh, go ahead and roll 2d6. Come on, sixes. Come on, sixes. Close enough. Six and a five. 11. I'll take it. That's is 110 good. plus 20 is 130 more hit dice of damage. Ah. Uh, damn. That's a lot As of damage. You see the skull completely indented, and you know it's got to be feather thin. Kill that uh, pilot. Kill that pilot. Next it turn. is looking really, really, really fucked up. And after you, it is his turn. What does he do? What does he do? Let's roll a morale check like good old second edition. Well, he's going to fucking denny uh, his fucking thing. <laughs> he decides to stay and try to make an athletics check. And he makes it! Oh, no. As... Jose? Uh, one sec. Can you all hear me? Yeah, we can hear yep. you. Yeah. You sound different. Yeah, my uh, earpiece just died. Ah, oh, lame. Okay. So, anyway, uh, he decides to stay and fight. And he manages to push himself out of the rubble kind of stabbing up and pushing one leg, kind of pushing your leg off of him. And he points his two large rail guns as the skull rotates. It can rotate 360 degrees, but it rotates on its axis. Shitty. Take two attacks. The first one is a 23 hitting. The second one is a 23 hitting. Both hits by the Skullwalker against you do 2d4 times 10. Uh, one, two. So the first one is 60 hit dice of damage against your chest. The second one is 40 geez, hit dice geez. of damage against your chest for a total of 100, 100. taking you down to 152. Uh, that's Ooh. that fucking your, sucks. Your alarm systems are alarming. <laughs> Sensors about to go offline. Sensors are about to go offline. And that's what you get your plus four to attack with. For your targeting systems. Oh shit. So uh Fuck, I it wish is, there was anything I could do. That ends his turn. It is now your turn, Hita. Okay, he just turn. Let's take a look at this. Uh, I guess I can fire on these guys again, but I can't really help out. Uh, I can't really help out uh, Michael, right? No, I'm good. Uh, Don't worry. You're good, Michael? Don't worry, I'm good. You stay over the intercom real quick. Okay. And I'm going to... Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Is I'm gonna draw my rapier. Okay. And I'm gonna attack one guy's flesh. The guy that is down. He's already dead. You blew off his, his head. Oh, okay. So I guess <laughs> this guy's standing there are, up still. There are two There's... dead and two that are unhurt. 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 Yep. Well, that shit's about to change. Unhurt. I uh, draw my rapier and run up to them. And okay. I'm give him a good old poke. You know, a little stabby stab. <laughs> Make your attack rolls. Alright. Vibroblade rape your first attack. Where the hell did the lighter go? Uh-oh. Somebody's out of cigarettes. No, I have a cigarette. I just don't have a lighter. Oh, super lame. I got a 23. Okay, that's a hit. Alright, that is nine piercing damage to his flesh. Okay, uh, you stab him kind of in the shoulder, just in between the plates of metal. Okay. Nice. Second attack roll. Um, okay. When does my frenzy trigger, by the way? What would count as 
What would count as uh, intense sorrow? Uh, somebody that you know dying, somebody like intense sorrow, uh, your bag of warp. <laughs> my, uh, my hard <laughs> drugs run out or when my when you... friends die or when my drugs run out. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I get... Let's see, plus nine to this, so I'm gonna roll it again. Fuck it. Twenty six. Hit. Uh, nine piercing damage. Total of eighteen hit points. The first one, you stab him in his shoulder. The second one, you kind of parry his gun away from him and bring your gun, your sword up, and stick him right in the neck. <laughs> And he's coughing and gagging, but still alive, just barely. <laughs> Blood coming out of his throat. and Oh, it's gross. I didn't want to see that. Listen, motherfucker, just die or surrender. <laughs> Pick one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about to see you coughing up blood. It's bringing me it's bringing back traumatic memories. <laughs> uh, 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 I want to give Jose of... the honor that he deserves for doing those fake coughs, by the way. So I'm gonna drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those were totally fake. And, yeah, completely then... fake. Had nothing to do with you smoking outside. Don't smoke, kids. It's bad for you. Right? Don't get started. You can't quit. Yeah, it's the worst. It's actually the worst. Just don't do it. And then, anything else? No, I had all my. I don't have any good bonus actions. My bonus actions are kind of fucking lame. Michael, your turn. Michael. All right, two more shots. What? Wait, what? It's not my turn. Oh, I'm no, sorry, yeah, Hida. Alara, I skipped over you. Alara Hida. goes after Michael. Alara, you called Alara. And, well, when, Hida, so no, you have to drink. I, I do, did, but uh, Alara has to go after Hida. I skipped you, Alara. Yeah, you're right. So when do they go? Uh after you, the soldiers. Jose, awesome. You got to drink, buddy. I will. Mm -hmm. um, I can't believe school. that I, I still have to go after the, before them, so I wasted my dodge. But that's fine, you know. Oh, I'll just shit. run up. I skip their turn. But anyway, they all fire and miss. <laughs> I'm down with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Firing at disadvantage. I'm pretty sure that something like that was likely to happen. Right, with an armor class of twenty-one or some shit. Only 19. 19. Still. Hmm. They don't have that big a plus. I got you. I did skip them somewhere. somewhere. Let me just roll a quick attack roll. Go for it. At what disadvantage. Okay. Natural 2. Seneca attack roll. Natural 7. Missing. Third attack roll. Natural 11. Hitting armor class of 17. Missing. Last attack roll missing, but one attack roll does hit. <clears throat> Since there, you're charging at them with the sword. Uh, da, da, da. Five, seven hit dice of damage to your chest. Uh, Nick, uh, Nick. Damn it, Gita. <laughs> How much damage? Seven hit dice to your chest with a blast. Yeah, I can take that. Yeah, you can. Okay, but anyway, continuing on to Ida. Uh, you mean Alara? Alara, I am sorry. You don't have to remember <laughs> that one because it's clear that you're already super drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go up on the one that isn't being eviscerated here by Hida and attack him twice. Make your two attack rolls. Crit 20! Wow! Uh -huh. <laughs> Drink! Yeah. Let's get these fucking bottles I turned pour. upside down, boys! And That's exactly 19. what's happening. Oh man, I just finished the bottle. Oh, <laughs> another one. That sucks, Jose. I'm sorry. I've been there. Okay, so uh, roll damage... 1d4 okay. plus shit and shit and shit. It's sixes. 
<laughs> 1d6 plus shit and shit. Yep. Damn it. Double the die. Die down. <laughs> that means you re-roll. <laughs> Three. Double the dice is six. Plus eight is 14. Plus one. Fifteen. Fifteen hit points of damage as you... Um, he's got five hit points left as you bring it up and pin him to the wall with a pin him to the wall right beside the hallway going down <clears throat> right in the shoulder with the first attack. <laughs> Lara, and he's right? looking at you with, and he, yeah, and he's looking at you with, uh, fear in his eyes, Alara. All right. Well, that's too bad because I've got to say, I already hit him with my second attack and here comes the damage. Oh shit! Come on, sixes. You've got more than a plus five, don't you? Yeah. So yeah, he's dead. He's got five hit points left. <laughs> <laughs> How do you want to do it? Kill that You've got him pinned up against the wall with one claw. Well, I, since I did the other one this way, I might as well decapitate this one as well with my vibro blade. <clears throat> His head goes flying through the air. Landing about four feet away, doo, doo, doo. you can almost hear it echo like a melon bouncing. <laughs> and <laughs> never knew what hit him. <laughs> There's still one alive, between... and now we're gonna have to fight the actual shit tomorrow or next week. That one that's alive, does he make a morale check? <laughs> um... He's kind of pinned up against the wall by the throat by your sword with two hit points left. Okay. That's pretty dead. Pretty damn close. Just going to finish him off. Is it my turn? Uh, No, after he does, it's no, Michael. It is Michael. Or after Alara, it's Michael. Dude, I really want to keep making you drink for that, but you're, you can't keep mm -hmm. shit straight, so you're already fucked mm -hmm. up. Right? <laughs> I would feel bad if our DM puked. It's not going <laughs> to happen until after the phone call. That's not going to happen oh, no. until after the phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Did Please I kill this freaking spider already? Um, it is still alive, but just barely, and it has pushed itself out of the rubble, and it's standing and just fired two blasts at you with its railgun. Two 80-round blast bursts. Two more fucking shots of this. Fucking die already, you piece of fucking spider shit. Make your two 16. attack rolls. Uh-huh. Eight. That is a hit. That's nine. That's uh, 29 and 31. Those are both hits. Um, You're standing right in front of him. How do you want to do this? Yes. First shot goes through the freaking like side of the leg, so it falls down like twitching. The second shot goes through his freaking head, and it comes out his ass, and like there's a big old hole that's just like empty right there, and it collapses. It it lands. It, the three legs on the left side are taken out. <laughs> it collapses sideways, landing limply, and the next thing you guys feel the earth rumble from up above you. As all that's left is this perfectly circular blast hole where the particle cannon just blasted right through the armor in the top of its head and out its ass. And, yeah. Um, Red Leader, I just wanted to say get fucking dunked on. Red Leader, get fucking dunked on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this thing is finally blasted. You see down below you a little no. uh, stairway leading down that your team must no. have blasted a hole into. Can I clear it out with the mech? Like, use its arms and hands and clear off all the rubble and make we'll it We'll say you use your movement. At, well, the rubble's clear for the stairway down. Yeah, I blew that shit to okay. hell. Just jump out of his freaking cockpit and start heading down. <laughs> you take a couple of steps with your mech, flip it open as your mech Flip it open and jump out mid-step of your mech. As the mech takes its final step, 
right at the same time you hit the ground. So when you hit the ground, it almost seems like... And you look at the stairway about to head down, and that's where we'll call this evening's episode. Oh, nice. shit, dude. Oh, man. Oh, I don't that know was wild. pull it off. Are you sure you don't want to kill me, Jose? <laughs> hey, <laughs> I just play the game. It's nothing personal, nothing intentional, and I make it to keep it as close as I can to you guys just barely surviving to make it for yeah. intense. Yeah, you want it to be dramatic. I agree. Exactly. Exactly. It's Holy all about shit. the drama. You guys, I got so drunk tonight. <laughs> What's your outro, Jose? My by the way? And to finish one? off. Oh, you've already fallen asleep. All right. Good night, kids. <laughs>